As the man says, it's time. Six three minute rounds. We've got Simon Valili from Middlesbrough. Yep. Against Tony Visic from Croatia. Yep. I'm split. Let's hope we don't get a split decision here. <laughs> or a split eye. I don't think so. So, ninth fight for the Lilies. Won all eight so far. One by stoppage. And Visic has got a bit of a... Oh, a bit of a sore rib. <laughs> it. Some meaty combinations going in by both of them to start off with. I think for has got the height and the reach, obviously. Um, uh, in a decent amount of weight advantage. He'd be looking to put the pressure on Visic from the start. Use them advantages. Visage's 50-50 record. Yeah, Pretty yeah. much. 19 wins, 20 losses. Fights all over the world, all over Europe. The thing with Visage as well, which it points towards a, hopefully an entertaining fight, is he can stop guys and he's also been stopped yeah. himself. So, you know, for some decent action. Villal is a former Commonwealth Games gold medalist, so he did very well in the amateurs. He's been a little bit stop start in the pro game. Distractions outside the ring, as, as yeah. you know, can sometimes come along. But he's good, uh, good right hand there by Simon over the top. Very stiff jab, that one as well. He says he's really, really switched on now. He's going to be giving it 100% and they're looking to yeah. move through a bit quicker as well. Which he's certainly got the ability. And like I said, it, it comes, it comes a point sometimes in your career when you realise you've just got to like, right, I need to settle down and take this a bit more serious, take everything a bit more serious. And He's got the talent, he's got the talent to go for. He's got the pedigree. Some very, very big shots getting chucked yeah. about in that ring, like. In some ways, the cruiserweights can be more explosive than the heavyweights because you've got... You've got that speed of the, the slightly lighter weight, yeah. <coughs> it's like... Oh, blimey. He's, I mean, Visage is leaving himself open. His hands are down on them when Valili's coming in. I think he's just taking his eye off the ball a little bit. Again, Valili's another one that's had to adapt from the amateur style. That yeah. Such high success. Again, when he was boxing a lot of his amateur fights, it was the old-fashioned point scoring and yeah. not tippy-tappy, but not, not punishing. I think both men's looking for the big shots. Yeah. Obviously, busy when Valili comes in and throws his. Well, that was a <laughs> was an interesting. It was certainly yeah. an interesting opener. Yeah. I think obviously, obviously, a first round for Simon Valili, really in for the for the trap for the big shot over the top. Hasn't paid off so far, but that's where Simon Valili's just got to keep that concentration, not get drawn into the. Into yeah, he's just scrap your fair running. He's thirty years old now, Valili, which. For a cruiserweight, you'd probably say he's coming into his peak physical time now, aren't yeah. you? It's just getting the right fights, making the right progress, but like I say, I think they're looking at moving through a little bit quicker now. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you're looking at like John Lewis Dickinson's retired recently, so there's a void in the cruiserweights, especially up in the northeast. It's got to be filled, and you've got to get the lads out there who are, who are at the weight to step up to the plate. You know, Simon Villani's obviously. He's, he's one of the contenders to, to and he's expected to go through, he's a prospect and right, hopefully he gets right. the right kind of development to, to bring him on properly. And he's gone out there asking for, for the jab to come out. Just get back to the box a little bit and work his way in. Yeah, he seems to be switching off a little bit when he's getting on the inside and that's yeah. given Visage the chance to let those shots off, isn't it? Uh, if he's keeping it he at long see, range, he's, he's, he's... You can see when he bounces back there, Visage, he's... His right shoulder's noticeably a bit more just relaxed, and he's looking He's just. He's just looking for that big swinging right hook over the top. 
But if you can see that from here, I'm surely Villalili. Yeah, it was a very good right hand there by Simon Villalili. Caught him. Puts the weight on his back foot. Took it through. Just, just missing one out right hook there. Yeah, I got both box ex exchanging a little here verbally. A little bit of antics going yeah, on in there. A little bit of macho man contest. Who would expect that with boxers, eh? <laughs> <laughs> It's a good jab there by Simon Villalli. I think like his corner's trying to get him back behind the jab and he's obviously he's got the reach and he's got he's got he's got strong, stiff jab and he's he's having success when he's thrown it. He just seems to be thinking about it a little bit too much at times, doesn't he? But again, it's, it's, he needs that regular activity to Yeah. I think it doesn't help as well with visits where his style is when, when Simon Villalli is stepping in, he's just leaning his body. He's leaving his, he's leaving his feet. He's leaving his feet there and just leaning his body back and it just puts it out of so Villalli can't get that full purchase in his shots. Obviously that is a good right hand over the top by Simon Villalli there. I think so. Touch of gloves at the end there. Yeah, yeah. eh? <laughs> Mm. Well, he's got six rounds, yeah. He's got six oh, rounds to do a tight. job. It's, uh, he was meant to be fighting in May. There was a, a uh, Phil Jeffries was going to have a short reign at Meadows, and that actually got called off. And that was going to be Billy's first 10 round. He was going to be headlining that show, yeah. So that gives you an idea of the plans of moving him forward. I think this fight only actually got made yesterday, so... Yeah, struggling for opponents. Yeah. That was good patient boxing by him there. He, he, he stepped in with the shots, yeah. just just didn't land 100% and just took that step back out again. And again, not giving his opponent any encouragement. No. I say just that he's, he's using a bit more of that patience here, isn't he? Yeah. He's, he's got him on the ropes. He's not jumping in. He's not getting over eager. And <laughs> it just goes to show that he just you missed the shot slightly, and if you lean for over commit with your weight forward, you yeah. open to those shots, and he, he protected himself well. He's doing. He's, I think. I think he's got his game a bit now. He's. He's. Uh, Visage is just waiting for him to come in, but he's. He's. Simon Villiers not jumping in over eager, and when Visage is trying to throw them counters, Villiers at that space where he can just. He can just move back. It's like you say when he's against the ropes or in the corner, he's got a slightly side on. Stance. Yeah. It's difficult to catch him clean. I still like to see oh, a good jab straight jabbing. the middle there by Simon Villilli. Yeah, he's doing so well with the jab. Yeah. He'd be, I think he'd be breaking this guy down if he was throwing it a bit more. Like, like you say, not greedy, just... Oh, oh beautiful right hand there by Simon Villilli. Caught him right as he was coming in. Oh. That was like Lennox Lewis against Rackman, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah, Rackman. Delaney. <laughs> nah, his head's not clear here. I think so. Oh. He catch some of them up with the shots. The fight will be over. Referee's looking right on there, and I think that's a fight's over with there. The referee was having a really good look yeah. there, and I think um, same with Lily Corton, that big right hand there, really hurt him. His head was never right after the first one. I think he did well to get up from that first one. Did, yeah, it was there. a very heavy, heavy right hand, wasn't it? Well, so much for breaking up with the jab. Just, <laughs> just use just the one to win the right hand. Huh? The old, the old fashioned one too. Yeah. So I think, like you say in that round, it, it, it paid off for him because he did. He was, he was more patient. He didn't, he didn't get over eager there, and, and the opportunity came to him instead. 
and he actually landed the one too when uh, Visage was actually trying to counter yeah. and he timed him with it Shot right hand on the pipe, straight on the chin. There's not many who are going to stand up that. Looking good in there. Yeah, yeah. Patient. Getting there, getting there patient. Better man of job, United. I think in early stage, a little too patient, probably just finding your way in there. And yeah, that's a little bit, but I still set it down and got him out of there, so I might be with the job, do you know what I mean? Three rounds, not oh, great. Now I'm, on, now I'm on nine now, so we're looking at getting some. Uh, some fights that are a bit juicy, you know what I mean? So, well, the plan was I was mentioning country, you, you, were, you were planning to fight a 10 rounder a couple of months ago, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, but the show got postponed, so so that's maybe the next step forward. That's definitely the next step forward. Yeah, we want to start fighting uh, competitive fights now, but well, that's uh, in and around the top 10 in Britain, you know what I mean? So, start, start pushing on. Obviously, with John Lewis recently retiring yeah, in yeah. your weight division, there's yeah, yeah. Uh, limited on the local area, but like you say, at national level, you certainly look ready for that. Yeah, yeah, there's obviously it's limited, limited opposition in the North East, but you know, I don't want to sound too, get ahead of myself too much, but I'm looking around Britain and I can hold it with anyone in the top 10 in Britain without a shadow of a doubt, not just all of them, I can beat them, so that's the next step. Not just beat them, but exciting fights as exactly, well. Exactly, yeah. You know, all the, all, the, all the Borough fans have come here and they've been with me all the time, you know what I mean? So they'll go anywhere in the country, you know what I mean? Well, another one in the bank, mate. Right, nice one, nice. Brilliant, Simon, all the best, man.